Do you ever go outside and go, man, I wish I had a better way of killing flies. This right here ain't no fun. And I actually went out there. I even bought me one of these uh, electric fly tennis rackets that you, you know, pow, fly, fly, fly. That thing ain't no fun. Do you want to know what is fun? This here bug guns. Bug assault. That's what I just got me. I feel like I got to talk like this because I bought this. But what I have here is a bug assault. And uh, this is the version 3.0. It's supposed to not only shoot and kill flies, but make them explode. And we all like explosions. And this one I got even came with a laser beam. So we're going to have like laser beams shooting out of the thing. But basically what we have here is a fly swatter that uses table salt and you shoot the bugs out of the sky instead of uh, swatting at them. So I'm going to take this thing here apart. We're going to see how well this thing does. So there's a couple things I noticed right off the bat. This is an adult toy for adults only. So it's an adult toy and being an adult, you should know, do not shoot in face or eyes. Come on now, don't be shooting each other in the face. It's not fun. This thing even came with a note from the person who made these, isn't that nice? He let me know, be patient. I have a weird feeling that this is not handwritten. Shows you the spray pattern. Hmm, I'll probably start with some targets. And then you got this here nifty laser beam. I don't know if that's really gonna help much, but Eh, it's always fun. I'll go ahead and put that on there, I guess. We'll see. Here's the bug assault out of the box. I've already taken it apart. Here's the freaking laser beam. And that's it. I don't know really what a laser is going to do for it. But, hey, why not? It came with it on this version. So, let's go try it out. So, now I'm going to put some salt in here. Supposedly, if you put salt in here, it's about 80... 80 rounds or whatever. Who knows? Just gonna put some in there. This is high quality HEB salt. Let's see if this does any good. They said to use aluminum foil, tape it up somewhere, shoot it a few times at different distances so you can understand the spread and the amount of power it's gonna have it at what kind of distance. Now, I have been using this bug assault on flies and it does a great job so far uh i basically try to make sure you know i get close enough to them before they fly away knock them out it's been doing great but apparently youtube feels its viewers are too sensitive to see bugs or flies of that matter getting taken out using this weapon i guess you could call it so we have to take videos of this using non-flies so i'm gonna go ahead and let you see kind of how this spread on this works and then I'm gonna try to make some little fake aluminum flies so you can see how well it takes them out. All right, so here is one, this is one shot I would say I'm about 12 inches away from the aluminum and let's see what it does. I'm gonna do it up here in the corner. So that's about 12 inches away and that's honestly about how close I've been getting to flies, maybe a little further away and it's been doing great. Uh, that's the pattern it does. So I'm going to go ahead and try 24 inches back. So I've got the bug assault cocked again, and I'm a little further back. All right, so that definitely dented it in and a little bit wider, but about the same spread. Not a whole lot different. So maybe I should start stepping back a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and just test this out using little aluminum flies that I make. So this is actually our back patio table. Uh, yeah, it's dirty a little bit, but... It's going to be a decent representation, so I'm going to pretend these are little aluminum things I made here are flies so you can kind of see the power. So this is about 12 inches away, and I'm going to aim down at that one over there. Let's see how well that does. I mean, it's got some power. This definitely has had no problem taking out some flies. Now, I will say I've shot some wasps with this thing, and it really just makes them mad, so you probably don't want to shoot wasps, even close up, or anything large like that with a with a big exoskeleton. It just seems to make them mad, but flies definitely works good on. Let me try a few more. Let's go for this big old crazy fly here. Look, he's over here. Man, that thing went way over there. 
Sorry, fly. Uh, that's my beer. You need to leave that alone. That's my cookie. Oh, what? You need some salt on those fries? All right, so that's my little playing around with this bug of salt. I got to say, I do really like it. Pretty fun. When you have uh, stuff that you do outside, I'm not real big on this on the inside, although luckily we don't have much of a fly problem on the inside, but it does shoot salt, right? So, I mean, you're going to get salt around. It's probably better than hitting it with a fly swatter. But usually on the inside, I grab the vacuum cleaner and I suck flies up with it because I just don't like that stuff in the house. But usually we don't have a fly problem in the house. At family reunions and stuff outside, this thing is a blast. All right, so I don't know if you can see it in the video. I'm going to put it in this shadow. But this thing shoots salt like a Nerf gun. I mean, it, it shoots probably like 50 feet on this salt. Let's see if the video will actually pick up those salt particles coming out. Yeah, I don't know, but that pretty much reached the fence. That's crazy. Speaking of the fence, let's look at this. I mean, look how hard this salt even hits these wood pickets on the fence. You see that? I mean, you know, let me see if I can get closer. It engraves the fence pretty much with salt. This thing's got a lot of power to take out flies. It takes out flies with no problem. All right, now if I didn't already say it, I'll have a link to this down in the description and probably in the first comment that's pinned. Uh, check this thing out on Amazon. Read the comments. Some of the comments about this thing are hilarious, but uh, it looks like pretty much everybody that buys this thing ends up falling in love with it. So go ahead and uh, check it out and let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. If you have one of these or if you've used it or if you bought one, yeah, just go ahead and let me know everything down below. All right, so if you've liked my review of this bug assault, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel. It's listed right down below this video where you can subscribe. Just click that red button. It doesn't cost you anything, uh, but it just lets you know when I have other videos out there. All right, until the next video, y'all stay safe, and I'll get some new videos out there soon. Thanks, everyone.